All right, Cliff Floyd, former Met. <laughs> big picture view of this team. Obviously, they have big expectations. Yeah. Uh, their fans have big expectations. Can is there another 100 plus win team right here? I see it. I really do. I think when you look at the rotation, everybody talks about age and, and guys, you know, breaking down. But you know, you got 40 year old starting, you know, starters that have been around the league, future Hall of Famers, and Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander. But I think overall, um, that's not the biggest the biggest question. I think the biggest question is. Um, offense, scoring enough runs, yeah. and then the bullpen. I think the bullpen's gotten a lot better, so that in itself elevates this team to a position where if you can, if you can like, bridge yourself to Edwin Diaz, you got a big shot to win a lot of games and a lot of games late. Now, one other thing that uh, you, you won't see it here, but at City Field, they're moving the fences in, yeah. in right center field, about eight feet. As a, as a left-handed hitter, as a former hitter, what, I mean, what do you think about that, about that at City Field? I'm 100% in. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the players, you know, won't think about it as much other than uh, just driving the ball still, being, you know, in, in the hitting zone, uh, and then being able to reap the benefits of eight feet. Yeah. Eight feet is a lot. Yeah. I don't care how you look at it. So, yeah. um, does it affect the pitchers? We'll ask them at some point, but I think overall it, it helps these guys sort of just uh, understand that, you know, if I hit a ball, you know, on, on the screws and it goes right center, I'm going to get rewarded. Right. 3 1 homer. Yeah. Uh, now, a couple of more uh, intriguing storylines to, to, to follow moving forward here at Mets Camp is Brett Beatty going to make the team? It's a big question. Is Francisco Alvarez mm. going to make the team? And, and Tommy Pham, as, as a fourth outfielder, what, what is that going to look like? You well, know? I think the big thing is getting them enough bats and the, and the situation is fun to be really productive. Yeah. Um, that's important, especially for a role for a guy who's been in the league, uh, who's played a lot as a starter. Um, but, you know, when you look at a bench, the bench for me, Roe Flo, always boils down to buying in, understanding what that role means, understanding what you bring to the table every single night and being available uh, when your name's called. So yeah. I think Tommy Pham in the right frame of mind is perfect for that situation. Now, remember, the Mets have said Francisco Alvarez, if he makes the team, it's not going to be up here as a DH. So he's going to have to change, though. I don't know. We'll see. 